Laughing Skull here, coming to you from the sunny East Bay area of California. And uh, yeah, I'm about to do an unboxing right now. Some of you guys have seen, or maybe you haven't, but I, I posted a couple of pocket knives. I've always been into pocket knives. It's, uh, it's something that I've always been into collecting. I've only recently been getting more into it because, uh, you know, it's there's a lot of cool stuff out there now, so, and it's really popular on Instagram. And a lot of my followers do like pocket knives too, they're into EDC, not the raves, well some of you guys like the raves, but I'm talking about everyday carry, you know, lanyard beads, fidget spinners, fidget toys that are for grown-ups you know I thought I'd post some knives up and I'm gonna do a couple of boxings for some knives I recently got um, a lot of you guys are stoked hitting me up talking to me about it uh, we we talk a lot about knives in the DM so I feel like that's something I want to do and remember you know fingerboards and knives they go hand in hand what I'm gonna use to unbox is a CRKT, Columbia River Knife and Tool. This knife was designed by Kit Carson, an Army veteran. Uh, this particular model is the M16 14 SFA. So the M16 uh, stands for uh, the military rifle that it's kind of uh, modeled after. That's why it's got the holes in there. And the SFA stands for Special Forces, and the A lets you know that it's made in USA, because these aren't, the newer ones are not made in USA anymore, they're made in Taiwan. So this one's kind of special to me because of that. It's got a, it's got the dual Carson flippers, uh, so that you know, it guards your hand when you're holding it. Uh, and it makes it easy to flip too. You could uh, close it one-handed. Uh, what else? Uh, the, the, thumb, the thumb studs aren't really useful. Uh, maybe I can. Nope. I like the flippers better. But I like the dual flippers too because you could, uh, I, the way I have the clip set up, you could clip it four ways here down here where it's at, up here, and down here. So you could carry this any way you want. You know, if you're in the military or police or your average Joe, you could clip it however you need it to. So the functionality of it makes it that much more better. Um, the way I have it clipped is so that when I need to pull it out, in case of an emergency, the little the little flipper gets caught in your pocket and it opens automatically so it's like an instant opener when I pull it out um, and I think it's cool you know I show it off to my co-workers and they freak out so that's always fun um, what else uh, about this knife so this is a uh, made in USA version so I don't know how old it is but I was surprised to be for it to be in the condition it was when I got it. So uh, I kind of want to get the Taiwan made one so that I could abuse it and beat it up because I feel guilty using this one for hard work. <laughs> um, it's got a the blade is nothing really special I guess it's it's not labeled on here but after a lot of research I found out it's Os Eight Steel. Uh, which is like a, it's like a steel that's not really like super expensive, but it's meant to be beat up, like used a lot, beat up, easy to sharpen. Uh, this is the Tonto blade, which means it's got the, you know, the, the cool looking tip like that. And it's, these things could go through a car door if you need it to. Uh, the triple serrations are nice. They're kind of unique on the USA model. Uh, the handles are made of aluminum. 
so it's hard anodized aluminum handles which makes it kind of heavy which is what I like I like weight behind my knife so and the handles perfect I mean even for guys with big hands it's it's great and uh, something funny that uh, one of the review guys said is like he's like oh if, if you want to be if you want to show mercy you could just use the the end to bash him with instead of stabbing <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny but we're not stabbing people we're just uh that's not what this is for this is just to open packages and whittle out twigs and whatnot and honestly it's I like knives for like the fidget factor it's they're fun to play with when you're at work when you're sitting doing nothing drinking beers and they're good conversation starters too another cool thing about this knife is that they sell cheaper versions of it so you could get a lit they still make the aluminum handle that's about a hundred bucks and they also have uh, G10 handles which is a little bit cheaper I think around $50 um, they have a couple other different plastic variations on the handles and, and they're lighter it makes it lighter um, easier to carry not so heavy if, if you want something that's light and it's still strong as hell the G10 and and the the reinforced nylon I think it is I, I don't I don't know something like that it, it's really cool um, they come in tan black desert camo um, but they're really really good knives if you want to beat up on a knife or you want something intimidating looking or just something to play with and fidget around with they're fun um, another thing about the new ones is uh, the little features they have um, the new ones have a feature called the auto locks which means when you here it's this one has a lock, a liner lock, but it's not automatic. So what that means is this little liner lock here, right there, that little liner lock will turn this into, quote, a virtual fixed blade, end quote. So that means here you have your liner right to close it so if you're getting like I guess if you're in the military and you're in the heat of battle or if you're really trying to whittle some wood down for the campfire um, to make this really secure and not collapse on your fingers and cut your fingers um, you could turn this lock up turn it up like that and now the liner can't it can't go down anymore no matter how much force you put I think it's like 500 pounds of force is what it takes to to break that down so that's a cool feature uh, one of the reasons why I really like it um, in case I get attacked by a mountain lion I, I'm extra secure <laughs> um, but who knows if your chances are good against a mountain lion with this little guy but uh, you know it's there if you want it. Uh, I, I keep it off just so that I can open and close every time like I've been doing while I've been talking. Yeah, the new ones, they have an automatic liner lock. So that means when it opens, when they open it, the liner lock automatically springs up. It's got a spring. It's spring loaded, so it pops up and it automatically locks your liner, unlike this one. This one is not automatic. I have to, I have to manually do it. So right now I could, you know, I opened it and it's still, I could close it. The new ones, they don't do that, they're automatic. So those ones are a little trickier. When this is sprung up, it's a little trickier to close. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know if I prefer this or the other one. Uh, I think they both have their place. Uh, I'm not against it. I like the new ones because it's got 
the auto lock is cool and has a little red dot to show off the liner lock that it has so yeah that's my little knife review or whatever you want to call it for those who care for those who are into knives once again this uh this unboxing and knife review is brought to you by Modelo Cerveza Especial. So, let's uh, talk about what I'm gonna open here. I learned about soya from my coworker Juan. Uh, he was telling me, like, he's all, dude, look at this, look at this comp, this dude that's making me a deck. He's a badass split ply cutter, and he makes the best split plies and. You know, I was like, really? Who is this guy? Let me see if he's that special. And, uh, yeah, he showed me a custom that he was making for him. I know you guys have seen it. This shit broke the internet with this, uh, this split ply he made. Hand cut. It was a split ply of Doom. Uh, the rapper. MF Doom. And... That shit is crazy. The details are insane. And he was showing me the, the deck, like, in the middle of him working on it. And I was like, dude, that's crazy. Let me go on this guy's page, because I'm picky, man. Yeah, dude, he showed me this deck. It blew my mind. Um, I was just blown away at the, the MF Doom split ply. You guys should go look at it. If you haven't seen it, go look. Look at all his splits. Buy buy some stuff. Show some love for that guy. Because he works hard. And he's a good artist, man. So, yeah. He was showing me that deck. And he's like, yeah, we're I'm trading him something for it. And I'm, I got to send him a package. And he's all the way in Canada. And I was like, what? I said, he, I, said I don't want to miss this opportunity. I want to I wanna send him something, too. I want to give hook him up with some Laughing School stuff. So, he was like, all right. So... I was trying to think I wasn't really making stuff at the time I didn't have wheels I didn't have bags I was like what am I gonna make for this dude I found a like a little curved ledge thingy in the scrap bin I, I didn't want to waste the opportunity to to hook up a fellow fingerboarder so I ended up uh, working on this curved ledge kind of polishing it and then uh, trying to get like some nice smooth corners on it so you could grind on it and it was like an inch thick all aluminum it was aluminum 6061 yeah so i ended up engraving some stuff on it i i engraved like you know my tacky little art style all over it laughing skull and i think i engraved a bunch of little tiny sprinkle skateboards like i do my little signature design graphic and uh and then i did a I, I engra with the with the metal engraver I did all this and then I drew his uh his profile pic I engraved it on the front face and it it looked cool I liked it it, it was better than plain I don't know maybe he would have wanted it plain we'll find out later yeah so he hit me up saying hey man I, I love the the ledge it's super cool thank you super nice guy appreciative and uh I was like, yeah, man, I'm glad you like it. I, I couldn't, I had to send you something, man. Like, you know, me and Juan been talking about you. I'm a huge fan now of your stuff. And, you know, I wanted to hook you up with some East Bay, California goods from, you know, my brand. And, you know, it's all I had at the time. I, no wheels, no bags, but I think a, a solid heavy metal curved ledge is good enough. So, uh. Yeah, he asked me what I wanted. Uh, he wanted to make me like a custom split and I was like, "Oh my god, that's hella work, man." Like, but if you insist, <laughs> I I had him make me uh I'll show you. I'll show you what I had him make me. Let's do it. That was easy. Oh my god, what? Dude. <laughs> what is that? 
This is badass, dude. Already. Wow. Oh, man. This is gonna be perfect for my everyday carry items. You know, throw a, a little knuckle ring in there or a, you know, some, some little lanyard beads or something. So this is badass. I really like the, uh, man, I really like the Exacto knife design logo that he has. It's so simple, but so, like this is what everybody tries to, to get on their logo. It's something simple, but it, that has a huge impact. So, yeah, this is badass, man. Good shit, Soya. This is awesome. Let's see. I'm really low on grip, too, so thank you for the grip, buddy. Oh, my God. This feels like some good stuff. What? Lasered holes? Cool. That's a huge plus, so now I don't... You know, after pounding this beer... I don't have to go and make crooked holes or ugly little holes now. <laughs> Thank you, Soya. This is awesome already. I'm already stoked, man. All right. Let's see what else we got. Oh my god. Hella stickers, dude. I love stickers. I love stickers, man. Fuck yeah. Look at that. Oh, I hope the wind doesn't blow these away. Sheesh. I love that Pokemon one. How badass is that? You guys, man. Go follow Soya if you haven't already. Follow him. And get yourself some Pokemon stickers and a custom deck. I like the new moon one, the moon ones he's doing now. They're fucking badass. Alright. So here we go. Oh my god. Two. Wow. Fuck. These are sick, dude. Oh my god. So, about the split ply I asked for. These are badass. I can't believe how sick these are. Whatever. Well, I'll, we'll talk about the split ply later. Look at this. So lately, I've been getting rid of all my popsicles. I haven't been skating them. Um, I want to do cruisers mostly now. And uh, Soya doesn't really do cruisers. He does uh, mostly popsicles, but he said, Hey, man, you like cruisers? I'm going to make you a cruiser. I'm going to make you two cruisers. I was like, all right, shit. Thanks. Um... Look at that shape. Wow. That's a... <laughs> that's a really... Dude, you can't bend this deck. I'm putting hella pressure on this, and you can't bend it. Yeah, this is... Quality, bro. If, if your deck is flexing fix it don't don't make decks that flex please um i know it's not a big deal but it's something that i look at and this just lets me know that he knows what he's doing he's uh he he uh he's proud of his work he doesn't i don't know i, I don't want to knock anybody but uh 
All I know is that this dude makes good work. He makes a good deck. He knows what he's doing. He he takes pride in what he does. And you could just tell by the way he talks, by the way his products are. Uh, the fucking little bag, the stickers. This dude cares. Um, he takes pride in his shit. So, I can't wait to fucking set this up, dude. Wow. Uh, oh, I don't have my calipers with me. Or else I could tell you how wide this is. I'm going to pause it and I'm going to go get my calipers. Or my micrometer. Whatever I have. Alright, I'm back. Um, I got the veneer calipers. Couldn't find my micrometer. That's a little easier to read than these, but whatever. We'll give it a go. So... This is in inches, not millimeters. So at the widest point, it's 1.325. If you know how to read that, all my uh, measuring enthusiasts will know. Now, you'll be able to read that, but can you convert it to millimeters? So off the top of my head, I'm gonna convert that. Uh, times 25.4 so that's gonna be 33.655 millimeters so 33.65 millimeters is the width on that one and uh, which is perfect at 33 and a half is what I like to use for like videos it's um, been trying to get into wider decks just because I like the way they look, the way your tricks look in, in videos, they look cool. And I got these big bear paws, so, um, bigger, bigger decks, you know, let me say that clearly, bigger decks, fingerboard decks, uh, the bigger they are, the cooler they look in video. Um, that sounds funny. So, uh... Another one, uh, uh, my other favorite width is a uh, 31 and a half or 31, 30 because they're easy to flick around there, but it doesn't look as cool on video for edits or anything because all you see is this big hand and a board flipping and, and you don't see anything. But with the bigger board, you can see more you can see the flip and looks better on, on film. Uh, it's a little more challenging also, so that makes it fun. And, you know, I've been trying to get into it, so, but I like that this is like my standard size I like. Um, the shape is not, it's not too gnarly, it's perfect. It's got like the, the modern high kicks it looks like, or maybe medium high uh i forget what shape this is shame on me but i know i know i tried it already juan juan has a bunch of these decks and uh he let me try them and i was like dude what what shape is that okay and i i messaged soya right away i said that's the shape i want so i know i'm gonna like the shape already uh now the one the custom i wanted him to make me so it was really hard to think of a, like, I, uh, none of these splits are simple, but, you know, he was making it for me as a gift, and I didn't want him, I didn't want anything too difficult, and I think I still gave him a difficult design to make. Um, I, I told him to make me the BMX logo for SNN, because uh, you guys know I'm into bikes, BMX, and one of my favorite brands is SNN. And he fucking did it, dude. Can you believe he did it? What the hell? This dude is crazy. I cannot believe he did that. Look at the detail. Look at how... I like how, like... I like how the stains in the wood 
make the logo look like like S&M should take note of this like that would make a sick ass t-shirt with the little wood grain in the back oh my god look at that so I, I I'm guessing that this is the tail maybe I don't know I should have I should have hit him up before I did this video but whatever no nah, that's got to be the tail so square nose perfect I can't wait to set these up my goodness dude thank you so much bro I can't thank you enough for this uh, this is the kind of shit you keep forever right here you know like it's just such good quality just you can't man dude you cannot bend that it's so so solid god I can't get enough of that grain so yeah he made me the S&M logo look at <laughs> what the hell dude how did he cut that and how do you do that amazing amazing so this one is a uh, so what happened was <clears throat> before I got a chance to tell him hey can you make me a cruiser shape he was already working on a popsicle so that's my fault for trying to do too much and get extra when he's already hooking me up as it is man look at that top plate too the way it, oh, it's not even sunny anymore but I don't know if you guys can see that the way that shit glistens oh my god all right so this one is one inch 250 hmm. yeah one inch 250 so that's I already know what that is that's a easy that's a 31 millimeters 31.75 millimeters so I got two of my favorite widths right here and my god I don't know I can't I can't say thank you enough but uh yeah so this is Soya Skate you guys need to hit him up dude hit him up if you're over 21 drink responsibly get a Modelo ne next time I'll have a craft ale hopefully for you guys um Remember, if you're if you need a heavy duty pocket knife for under a hundred bucks or fifty dollar range, get yourself one of these bad boys. I forgot to mention the blade is uh, three point eight inches long, so that's big. Uh, I don't know what your laws are in your state, but here in California and in my backyard, I could carry whatever the hell I want. Um, so yeah. Get yourself a nice everyday carry. Got some everyday carry. Get yourself a soya deck with stickers and a little baggie to put your shit in. And thank you for watching. Let me know if you guys want more. Let me know in the comments what you think about soya. Let me know in the comments what you have in your pocket right now, as, as in like a pocket knife. What are you carrying? Let's do a pocket check. Um, pocket check. Um, show me, show me, DM me. I like seeing pocket knives. I like seeing collections. Uh, thank you again for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.